Monday Mountain Mover and I am Toy J McKnight with Amp and I am here with my most favorite women in the world and that is called the heart and I thought it was would only be right yeah to spotlight her first because I know to some of you guys Amp is like little but to me Amp is like it's humongous and it, it would only be humongous to me because of this support here like when Amp was nothing, when I was nothing, this person was always in my corner. Always rooting me out, always wearing her Amp when I didn't even believe in Amp. <laughs> so, I had to spotlight her first because what she was probably unsure of is that she is indeed Amp's ambassador. So, why not spotlight the person that even when Stamp had, Stamp, Amp had no ground to stand on, Carlotta was there. Carlotta would, would wear the attire. She would wear it sometimes and don't even realize that you were encouraging me. You were showing me, girl, why do you keep giving up on yourself? When you got somebody that's standing here wearing it, believing in it more than you. So, we well, had to spotlight her first because she's amazing to me. Thank you. You're amazing to me. Oh, um, <laughs> so listen, y'all. Mountain Movers is new. We have new items. Mountain Mover. Um, just through Amp, Amp, Mountain Mover actually was something I kind of originated when Amp first kind of started, which was back in 2016, for those of you guys that don't know. Um, and for those of you guys that do still support Amp, you still buy items. I know I don't promote and market as much as I should, but there are people still in the cut buying product, y'all. So I appreciate that. We are on our way. We're moving forward to, a, this is a new beginning. We are relaunching, rebranding. So we're trying out something new. And I thought recognizing women, spotlighting them, letting them know that you indeed, to me, to Elm, you are a mountain mover. And again, as I was trying to say, is that mountain mover was something that I kind of started some time ago. Um, it kind of stuck out to me from this description. So let me read it real fast, y'all. Jesus replied, truly I tell you, if you have a if you have as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. That's Matthew 17, 20, 21. So I only wanted to read that because I wanted you guys to recognize that. Of course, we're not technically saying, you know, take this mountain, move it, but God's basically was saying in the scripture that. It doesn't matter what's in your way, no matter the obstacle or circumstance, you have the power, trusting in me, is to just move it. Say to the mountain, move and it'll move. But you got to make sure you have the power on the inside. You have to make sure that you have the the um to want to move the mountain. Because if you don't be strong, then move it. You're weak, it's going to be impossible. So to me, if you're here, it means I've, I've seen you. I'm recognizing what you're doing. I think you got you have something you can share with another woman. So let's come. Let's talk about it. I'm going to ask you a few questions. If I'm DMing you, y'all just respond. It's either yes or no. You know, if you don't want to do it, I completely understand. I might text you. Text me back. It's cool if you don't want to do it. It's not going to hurt my feelings. That's between you and your God. However, if some women out here that wants to be able to hear what you have to say you may be able to encourage somebody if it's just a snippet that they see that you said you can help somebody else and that's what Amp is about it's not about me it's not about carlotta it's about every woman that has a story every woman that is either standing or barely standing any woman that is fighting or have given up the fight Amp has ground it's moving we got a lot of new things that we're trying to work on. So we just ask you guys to be patient with us. And again, we are back to Monday Mountain Lord. Who are you? So I'm Carlotta Martin. I'm a mother. I'm a friend. I'm a partner. I am a woman that has embraced the challenges of life. I have overcome them. And bear with me because she loves doing this. <laughs> yes. And she has got me in front of the camera. But I just definitely, definitely want to to be a representation of AMP. I am a mountain mover. I am a woman of AMP. I may not be a superstar. I might not yet be a millionaire. But in my own skin, in my own light, in my own right, I am a woman of God. I am a AMP woman. 
So that is who Carlotta is. And and what I did say y'all is amp is like moving. So once amp is like to the place where they need like a CFO this year. <laughs> so Carlotta, what inspires you to get out of bed every day? So what inspires me to get out of bed every day? Um is myself, honestly. The love for myself. Um, who I am as a woman, what I want for myself, what I want for my children. And although some people may say, oh, you know, my kids, that is for someone, but that's not for me. (laughs) Because if I don't love myself, if I'm not there where I need to be for myself, I can't be there for my kids. I've been in that place where it was my children that were pulling me out of bed and it was like I gotta get up these kids need me (laughs) and I didn't even think about myself you know my my significant other needs me my parents my friends somebody needs me but now what drives me every day is myself I want for myself the same thing I want for everybody else in the world what I want for my friends for my family and for my children so I am what motivates me to get out of bed every day okay girl (laughs) (laughs) what is the one mountain moving experience I know it's a fear that you know without a doubt transform transform you into the woman you are today so it is a few but to keep it simple um, I'll say it was a change of mindset Um, me overcoming fear and I look at fear as false evidence appearing real So even from a small little girl, I remember always being told, you know, I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't capable. You know, I would never be able to do this. She won't ever finish school. She won't ever get that job. She won't ever make that salary. Mm -hmm. She won't ever start that business. She won't ever be a part of that. So once you continue to hear those, you won't, she can't ingrained from a small child. So those were the things that ultimately held me back. So those experiences that I had overcoming that mindset, I honestly feel like at this point in my life, there is nothing that I cannot accomplish. Anything that I want for myself, for my life, for my children, I can do it myself. I don't Mm. have to get nobody else to do it. (laughs) Y'all heard of Listen, I don't know about y'all, but this is the kind of stuff that keeps me going. Of course, I'm going to pray. I'm going to believe in God. But sometimes you just need just to hear that small word. They just kind of encourage you to keep going. So that's why we're here, in case you guys forgot. In those season or seasons or those moments, when it seems like there's no movement, no mountains are moving, God is silent, how do you proceed? I proceed in prayer, in meditation, with a full heart, not allowing those that silence to get me down. I'm not saying I've never done that. Because I have, but at where I am now, I don't. I don't allow the silence to disrupt my prayer, my meditation, and the thing that I've I pride myself on. It's probably not a good thing, but whatever. Um, <laughs> is being able to silence those things and those people around me that I feel are disrupting my peace. Mm-hmm. I call it my um, silence killer. I will kill you with silence. I will cut you off, <laughs> regardless of who you are. Okay. I will not answer my phone. I will not engage. I will not interact. And that includes work, life, kids, whatever it is. Um, I will separate myself from anything that's disrupting my peace. Okay. And saying that, what advice or empowerment or just a small nugget would you have for any woman or young woman struggling to push through? You have to be intentional in the things that you do, um, the way you live, your actions. You have to be accountable for the decisions that you make because ultimately what you choose to do in your life is what's going to lead your life. Whether good, bad, or ugly, your, you know, the things you do, the decisions you make are ultimately what is driving your life. Whether that's holding you back Whether that's pushing you forward, your thoughts, your decisions are yours. You matter. You have to always remember that you are your own love, you are your own light, and you are your own guidance. And with God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. So keep your heart and your mind focused on the word 
of the God and not of man, and you'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Listen, yeah. I get to hear this all the time. <laughs> so, though, just for you, in one sentence, what do you want the world to remember about Carlotta? I want the world to remember Carlotta as being love, um, as being a light, and being a motivation. Okay, girl. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to hit her with something that she wasn't quite prepared for because these questions did go out beforehand. So she was kind of <laughs> able to rehearse what she was going to say. So let me see. In one word, what would you say to your future, Carlotta? Well, you know I don't just say one word. <laughs> okay. See, that's so why I said one word. Because I knew that would go, right. gonna go into something else. Okay. So, you know me well enough. My word is and will always be. Have faith. I know it's two. But <laughs> the word will be faith. Okay. Well, listen, y'all. I really appreciate you guys giving us a few minutes to sit. Where, if you're at work, if you're at home, whatever it is. I hope it's something you were able to take from this um this Monday Mountain Movement experience that we've had on today. Um, we would love to spotlight you on Monday, on a Monday. Um, we're here to stay. Even if I go into isolation, Amp is still here to stay. Um, but before we go, I listen, I do want y'all to go and follow Authentic TV. For any video, any, any type of filming, anything you guys need done with the camera, with editing, he is your guy. Definitely. I have my own personal reasons why I need y'all to follow him. <laughs> but if you need anything done, he is the guy to reach out to. Authentic TV. He is doing a lot of major things in the city. So he's little Marcus to me. But listen, he's fluid outrage. He is fast money connect. You guys go follow Authentic TV. Thank y'all for joining us on Monday Mountain Moving.